Street art is supposed to be spontaneous, edgy, public. It is not supposed to end up in auction houses or lawsuits. Until that is, the artist becomes famous and is called Banksy. Last Saturday, one of his murals was secretly cut from a wall in Haringey in London in the dead of night. Later today, it is up for auction on the other side of the Atlantic in Miami, expected to fetch half a million pounds. The result? outrage and an art mystery that has involved the British government, the Arts Council and the FBI, amongst others. Here's James Blake. Normally residents are desperate to get rid of graffiti, but in Haringey they're singing to get their street art back. Bring back Banksy! One Banksy mural in particular, which disappeared mysteriously a week ago under cover of darkness. This is what's missing, created by the famously anonymous artist last summer in the height of Jubilee fever, a slave boy making bunting. And it re-emerged several days ago on the front cover of a catalogue of a prestigious art sale in Miami. It's valued at more than $450,000 and goes under the hammer in about two hours. But people in Wood Green want to stop the sale. If you own this building, wouldn't you sell it for half a million? No, I wouldn't. I would appreciate that it is an artwork for everyone. The community owns it and they feel that and that's why they're here today. It's just interesting and it sort of inspires people to draw things as well. So far, the owners of this building have refused to say anything about the mysterious disappearance, and when residents challenged the builders who were replastering this hole, they were told the builders were paid £200 cash in hand and didn't know who paid them. The FBI asked the Met Police to investigate, but there have been no reports of theft, so the property company itself is the prime suspect. In that case, the sale might be legal, but Banksy isn't likely to authenticate the work. If the artist wanted to assert, for example, his moral rights in this situation, um, in order to say that the artwork was site-specific, that it was created for a specific location, then he could say the artwork actually wasn't a work of art which was worth anything elsewhere, chiseled off and sold in America. There's the ironic side that someone has illegally placed a piece of uh, artwork on this wall and it's, and, um, and it's legally being sold and, and there's an outcry against this kind of legal selling of a bit of artwork. In 2007, Banksy travelled to Israel and the West Bank to daub satirical murals on the so-called security barrier. His image of a wet dog disappeared from a wall in Bethlehem and reappeared in Miami too. Almost certainly the Miami gallery won't give the Banksys back, but it might be some consolation to the people of Wood Green that the last time there was an auction of unauthenticated Banksy art, prices slumped.